today we're going to determine how we can shift our parent graph y equals x squared horizontally along the x-axis. Now looking at our parent graph of y equals x squared, we graph the coordinates negative 4, 16, negative 3, 9, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9, and 4, 16. Looking at my graph, I'm going to physically shift every coordinate over one spot to the right. And then I will use those new coordinates to write a formula for the relationship between my x coordinates and my y coordinates. So I'm writing down my new coordinates. I have negative 3, 16, negative 2, 9, negative 1, 4, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, 3, 4, 4, 9, and 5, 16. Now my original formula that related x and y in the parent graph was y equals x squared. But now in this case, my y values have not changed, but my x values have increased in value by 1. I'm going to adjust my formula by having y equal x plus 1 squared. And I can test that out because when I have negative 3 and I add 1, that actually becomes negative 3 plus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. And that's not actually 16. So that should actually be x minus 1 squared. Let me test that out. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. So it looks like our new formula checks out. Now instead of y equals x squared, we have y equals x minus 1 squared. And my entire parent graph was shifted to the right one spot. Let's try another example. Let's see if we just start out with a formula and let's see if the um, graph actually shifts the correct amount. So let's say we want to shift our parent graph y equals x squared to the left two spots. My hypothesis might be that my new formula would be y equals x plus 2 squared. So we're going to graph y equals x plus 2 squared. And we're going to see if the parent graph actually shifts to the left this time. Okay. We're going to generate some values for x. Well, it looks like since we're going to be shifting the entire graph over, instead of starting with negative 4, I'm going to start two spots to the left. I'm going to start with negative 6. And then I'm going to go all the way up to positive 2. Now, I plug in negative 6. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. I continue to do some math in my head. 9, 16. So now I'm going to graph negative 6, 16. Negative 5, 9. Negative 4, 4, negative 3, 1, negative 2, 0, negative 1, 1, 0, 4, 1, 9, 2, 16. And in looking at my new graph, it's apparent that the original parent graph y equals x squared has in fact been shifted to the left two spots. It looks like when you have a number inside the parentheses of the parent graph and it's squared, it will either shift your graph into the right direction if it's a negative or shift it to the left if it's a positive. 